Good afternoon. I'm Stephanie Strand outside the opening worship for General Council 43. I'm here with Elder Reverend Grafton Antone, who began the opening worship with an edge of the wood ceremony. In recent General Council histories, this is the first time that an indigenous ceremony has been used to open General Council. Grafton, how do you think the edge of the wood ceremony will help General Council 43 proceed in a good way? Well, I believe that the uh, ceremony by First Nations people um, being included in the church in every aspect, um, I'm glad to be uh, the first one, I guess, that to do the Aboriginal ceremony. And uh, I remember when they asked me earlier on, they said, how can you do, could you do something? And I said, yes, I can do that edge of the wood ceremony because that is the way that we approach another community. Uh, we build a fire outside and, and when they come and see what is it that we want and then we are able to speak to the people and ask them if we can come into their territory and, and uh, visit or do a uh, uh, do a conference or a meeting and so they they understand us that we're coming in peace so so they invite us in and uh, we come in and then we listen and then we do the ceremony and how is it going to affect I look I look at Aboriginal ceremonies as being necessary for the church to to learn and to take on and to hear our Aboriginal languages in our own voices to be part of the church's um, new direction. And uh, we're uh, the calls to action by the Truth and Reconciliation Commission uh, asks the education, uh, education people to change their curriculum to include Aboriginal languages. And so, in a way, this applies to, to the church to to a, to a, to have Aboriginal languages in all parts of our our meetings. Absolutely. And do you think that opening with the edge of the wood ceremony will encourage Indigenous and non-Indigenous churches to further relationships with traditional ceremonies? Where I see the uh, ceremony coming into um, uh, being positively received is that it will encourage uh, other Aboriginal peoples to uh, discover or bring out their opening ceremonies and uh, be able to uh, teach the church more of our ways and whichever, whichever uh, First Nation uh, territory that is involved, their languages will, will be primary. That's, that's my hope, anyways. It was a wonderful way to start General Council 43, Chimigwich Grafton. Thank you. Yeah, we'll go. Yeah, we'll go.